What up, man? It's your boy Captain Rick Rock with Positive Vibes Podcast. And today we got a very, very real special guest, close friend of mine, uh, one of the battle rap's best. And uh, we definitely going for the crown this year. Yes, yes. Geechee Gotti, what up, baby? Man, what it do, Rock? We in the building, you know what I'm saying? We here, we working. I'm right. here, I'm glad to be here, you know what I'm saying? I right. see the Positive Vibes podcast and how it's going down, you know what I mean? I'm all right. about that, so I'm like, yeah. Right, well, yeah, right. me on the show, man. I'm well, we're going to get straight to it. We ain't going to waste it. no time. Let's tonight you it. had a, a battle today. How did that go? Man, it went good, man. I battled uh, KCJ. This was the semifinals for the Ultimate Madness 3 tournament going on on Caffeine every two weeks. You know what I'm saying? So I got the W, headed to the finals. You know what I'm saying? It's 100K on the line. Once the finals is done, you know what I'm saying? That's 100K. It's sponsored by Drake and Caffeine which is, you know what I'm saying, also in ties with Fox Sports, so it's a big deal, you know what I'm saying? Like, and like for me to win today with all the people that was doubting, not, not really doubting me, but just doubting like if I was gonna be able to win this tournament out of one so much, sometimes they kinda be like, ah, oh, they get tired of seeing you win, you know what I'm saying? Right, so right. it'd be like, they re it's kinda become like harder on you because the pressure is like, if I if I don't win, they wanna see that, but if I if I do win, it's like, well, I'm tired of seeing you win, right, you know what I'm saying? Right, so the pressure right. be up, but definitely man was able to pull it off again right well that pressure ain't gonna bust this pipe nah. right we definitely gonna win and what we gonna we gonna get some of that blue bell air yeah right? get some <laughs> of that blue bell air you know what i'm right. saying come on man right. we're gonna be drinking that for sure for sure the championship right well tell these people a little bit uh before the battle rap yeah when you first started i remember you started what was it a hat yeah or something like that yep. yeah i remember when you first started in the backyard yeah and to see you go from that to this it's like it's amazing. Like, how did you start? How did you even get into battle rap? What made right. you start this whole process? All right, man. So, uh, you know, I've always been rapping, but I never really was doing the battle rapping. You know what I'm saying? Shout out L.I., my, I mean, my boy. He kind of was a nigga that did the battling as far as, like, out the neighborhood. Like, I always thought it was cool to do. I watched niggas do it on Smack and all that, which I'm on now, but I never was on no battling. I'm like, right. Right. I'm just rapping. Nigga, put me in the booth. You feel me? But uh, I had a partner. He was rapping, and... Uh, he was battling my boy KP, who I uh, co-own the Riot Network with now, the Riot Rap Battle, that's our battle league. He already had that going on. So he uh, invited me one time, like, yo, man, we doing these battles out in Orange County. Uh, we get dudes like $100 or something, man, just to right. win or come rap. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting in front of the homie house. We like, shit, we'll drive out there and try to get 100 real quick. You know what I mean? We don't give right. a fuck. We, we low. We like, so 100 real quick to go, what? Just gonna say what? We pull up out there, dust the dudes off real quick. This shit ain't even on camera. We dust these dudes off, get the little hundred. And to me, I'm like, yeah, that was cool. That was quick. Like two minutes of that, he came me back like weeks later to do another one. Uh, I ended up coming back doing that. that at, at that time, I started watching battle. So I was trying to do it kind of like how battlers did it, like on some punchline for punchline yeah. thing. You know what I'm saying? But after that battle, I was like, this ain't really me. Like I need to like, get up there and like talk my shit like you know what i'm saying right. like fuck trying to sound like these dudes i'm watching like let me tell my story you know what i'm saying so i think once i like, came back i had a battle with this dude named yak the ripper and, and the guy came was uh name was norbs at the time he was working for url smacking them doing the, the talent booking and bringing people out there to new york from other states so he was at the battle and i just i i, I ripped it like you know what i'm saying like i'm but i'm talking real shit like shit that's going on in the streets what's going on and and I didn't even had no Twitters, none of that. And my boy showed me like, man, that dude went back and he tweeted, it's a star in Compton. Like right, it's a dude right. in Compton that's the craziest dude ever. And I'm like, damn, what the fuck? I ain't even got this, but I kept it going. I didn't even, I didn't stop there. Like he flew me, they flew me to New York. I did that battle. And it just like, it like the rest was history. It's like, I just kept going, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I, like, I didn't even know it would take to that. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I, I, you know how we was, like I would be doing those battles Back then, I would fly back when I come back. I'd be, I go straight to the hood, be hanging out. Right, right. We weren't really even getting paid like that anyway back then, really honestly. But to me, it was just like, oh, we battling. I'm going back with the homies. We turn up, you know what I'm saying? Right. So for me, it's like to see where I'm at now, kind of just let me know, like, with anybody, man, if you just stay at something, you know what I'm saying? You stay pushing towards it, like you never know, like the sky's really the limit with everything you do. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's only as far as you imagine that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like once I started seeing myself like winning and doing that, like I manifest it. I see that shit before it happened. Like a lot of people don't know that. Like I see it. Like on some like, nah, I'm a, I'm a win champion of the year. I know I'm gonna get it. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Next thing you know, ah, champion of the year. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I've already seen it three months ago, you right, know what I'm saying? Right. I just kept working towards it, so right. hell yeah. Started from a motherfucking hundred dollar battle, nigga calling our phone. We drove out there, did that nigga to being right here, like for real, for real. Right. Well, you know, one of the things that I like about you, man, is 
you one of the youngsters. We we, we both from yeah, the same neighborhood, most right? Definitely. And uh, you know, as we when I was coming up, some of the older homies they they influence you. Yeah. You know, to do to, to really get involved with the street life. Yeah. That's that's part of the game. That comes you know with saying? the game, the culture talk. that we grew up in. But one thing I like about you is you listen. Yeah. I never was one of the homies that would say, go do this and go do that. I never wanted that for my young homies because I've been down that route. Talk. So I remember one time you called a case. Yeah. And I was like, look, bro, everybody not going where you going. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? For real. Let everybody have their fun. You just stay focused on your dream and, and, and keep doing what you're doing, man. Don't real don't shit. blow it because if you get locked up, it's over. Oh. Real talk. No, you remember real that talk. conversation yeah, at the yeah, bowling alley? I remember alley. that at the bowling listen, bro, and, that, you know, and I never wanted to get in your space and like, let me just yeah. go hang around and hang. Let him do uh, his thing. Now that I got something to bring to the table, get yes, you on the podcast, man, it's real good, man. I uh-huh. like where you going. And uh, to see where you started, man, it's, yeah. it's, it's a big deal. And I yeah. see you do the comedy skit. So yeah, what's man. going on with this comedy stuff? I yeah. like that one you did with Darius. Man. Yeah, man. So I'm trying to just step in that lane of just doing, like, basically, I'm like on some, I don't want to get boxed in to like, I never want to get boxed in as just a battle rapper. I ain't want to just get boxed in as just a rapper. I ain't want to just get boxed in as just a, a, a clothing, just whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a jack. I want to be able to say I did it all. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said earlier, sky's the limit. So it's like, bro, I'm, I'm acting. I'm doing comedy. I'm doing whatever it takes to be in front of the camera and, 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 it's, and, and build my brand and expand my brand and, and open more opportunities. Like you say, man, we from the same neighborhood. So... We did you know, shit that was crazier, you know what I'm saying? That right. you can vouch, that I can vouch, that we know that was like, bruh, we would have, you know what I mean? That was stupid, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. so now we can, you know yeah. what I mean? It is what it is. So right. now if you can be like, well, if I can be a, make a fool of myself as far as like doing something negative that could have got me life in prison, then why wouldn't I not do something that I can right. do positive and I can have fun? I could joke about right. some shit that I, that I used to do, you know what I'm saying? To right. me, that's what was more like better for, for, for my situation. Man, I done did comedy skits for, shout out Darius DK, uh, my guy L.A. Truth, uh, uh, he, he done tapped in with me. Uh, my guy Frack, that's one of the ones that a lot of people like with me. Uh, me and uh, Big Hen, we got the one with L.I. You know, I just, just something I just start picking up. I really ain't had no, right, right. ain't no script to it or nothing. We just like, right. man, Freestyle. plug it, turn, yeah, let's that's just turn it up and just do hey, it. But you, but you know what's crazy though, bro, like, doing this comedy stuff, right? Yeah. When I first got on camera doing the comedy stuff, right, I was like, Man, what everybody gonna think? Oh, every day, right? every day. But then when people started calling me during the pandemic, like, bro, what you doing is making us laugh in these Real hospitals, shit. and, Real and, talk. and and you know, you you, you yeah, giving yeah. us something to laugh about during these hard Real times. Talk. That's what gave me the motivation to, to keep going, doing, right? Yeah. Now, what I'm doing with the comedy now, like homies are starting to pick up Real on. Oh shit! Now that's a good thing Real because. Shit. We could have been doing negativity. They could have been following behind. Could have been that. following by negativity. Right. So we saving lives. You don't know who yeah. you motivating Real through the talk, neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Differently. So we doing something good with that, man. I like the, the skit you did with Darius and yeah. Biggie, man. Yeah. That that was real awesome, man. So uh Tell me this, bro. What's yeah, up? What's up with the music, man? Man, the we music, got the No we Studio. The new yeah, we studio. got the No Studio on. So if y'all been following my music career, I had the No Studio on one. A lot of people that ain't on no digital outlets or nothing because all I did was just record that we made copies of it. we probably i think we made like 200 300 copies or something like that and we right. was giving them away selling them for five dollars me and homie we'll go to the uh, rp nip we we took shit to his shop when they was when he was alive we've been to all type of places just handing them out giving them to smokers whoever right, could right. get one we did that then it was no studio in two then three my next project that i'm working on i'm dropping it's called illuminati is 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 mostly produced by uh jay nari I got some other producers working with it as well, but for the most part, uh, Jay Nari been producing it. I got uh, dope features on it. I just been working. I kind of feel like my my sound has grew because I've grew. So like the stuff that I used to rap about, I'm looking at it from a different perspective now. Yeah, I can still come with the bars about shoot 'em up, bang bang, and shit like that. But for now, like if you, when when these songs drop, it's more substance to the content. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I've had songs in the past, like the uh, the blue skies and the condolences record for Nipsey and things like that that has substance and I kind of like piggyback off that with this project right. where I'm trying to give more of that right. where people want to hear more of the realism of it like you know what I'm saying like you, you know yeah they want to hear the real side of it because even with the gang shit a lot of times when people get it misconstrued is at first when I was a kid like you know, I think I was 12 and we started I, it looked it cool to me you know what I'm saying like damn the homies hanging this shit's dope you get the bitches you get to be the man in the streets you hang with everybody it did look cool but then they don't tell you the flip side like Half of the people that I started with is dead. Right. Are they in jail for a long time and they got a call and ask for $50 and right. $25 and you right. know what I'm saying? Shit like right. that. Like they life consi- right. 
if, you know what I mean, is at a standstill and they consist around if they still got, people really got love for them. Because right. a motherfucker, you've been in there for years, so you know if a motherfucker ain't fucking with you out here, you got to fend for yourself. You dig what right. I'm saying? Right. So like now, when you like when you when when I'm able to spill that on the record, that can deter somebody that's young to be like, well, shit, I don't think it's that cool because right. I would rather be, you know what I mean, rapping about it or I'd rather be going to school and I'd rather be playing basketball or doing something different instead of that. So with this album, Illuminati, I feel like it's just showing like the maturity of me, you know what growth. I'm saying? Like yeah. the growth on everything. Well, I remember when I came home, man, I did a, I did a song called Ain't No Bottom. Right? <laughs> the song, the, the album wasn't even supposed to be that, right? Right, exactly. I called this dude from Long Beach. What was his name that was supposed to do the song with us? It was, uh, uh, damn, man. Yeah, Who I we had? I forget right now. He was signed to Snoop Dogg. Yeah, you talking about uh, the Jabba nigga at the Jabba time. Jabba yeah. Mm-hmm. So look, I called Jabba Loke and he was supposed mm-hmm. to come to the studio, but when he seen it, it was a house studio, he, he was, kept going. Yeah, I mean, he so didn't I was like, damn, we got, I didn't pay for this beat. <laughs> I ain't got nobody to call but Geeky, oh, right? right so, yeah. so we do the song. I didn't think none of the song. We were just fucking around. We didn't know we was gonna we name the song, know we right? Gonna name it. So I was like, "Fuck it, let's just call it this." And uh, the song was so dope. People was, was calling me. Whack One Hundred called me like, "Hey, who what, was that on the first going verse?" On? Yeah, like, yeah, right? what's going on? That's yeah. when I knew. I said, "Man, this dude is a star." But you I know what, man? I'm glad we both got past. Yeah, that. we got past that though we, because, like, like, like we know we got homies from both sides of the rag, but. And like it's just awesome, like nigga. For one, I'm looking at it too, like at music, like nigga, it's diss records. You know what I'm saying? Like so we, we, just, we was banging, we, we, too we was though, really like. banging, and we was banging hard. But if people really listen, for the most part, we really was saying that to the industry dudes, industry dudes. who like just saying it, who don't understand. Like if you were really a power ruling in the, in the city of Compton, yeah, you got all rights to say that. But if you coming from a whole nother state and you never stepped foot or been around the pain or put in the pain to just say that that's disrespectful to right. a crib. You know what I'm saying? Like right. if you talking to a, a Damu, you not finna cuz him and he not right. finna blood you. So right. you not finna just be saying bombs and you don't even be in Compton. Right. You know what I'm saying? But like you say, to get past that, that was that was big. Cause I remember you used to be like, you, you, was, be, you used to be, your foot used to be on the gas though. Like right. you was like, you know what I'm saying? Worse than me. This right. nigga right here be the right. one like, I ain't had no, you like, yeah, nigga, fuck it. All right, I'm just rocking. Like right. we got right. this nigga right. had hella songs like that. Start right. a war. We got plenty of them, like you feel me? Man. You know what I'm saying? But like you we, say, we, man, we had some on part two, but I never put that. We album never put out. that one out. Yeah, like, you. Like, we didn't put the. I, we had some shit on there, like nigga. We put the start of war. Yeah, we had some shit, shit. Yeah, we had some nigga. shit, shit. We had some, and oh. that shit was way crazy. Right, we you got past that we got shit, past man. That. We, we, right, right. we definitely didn't. Like you say, we didn't put that out, man. Like, and, and, and but you seen, I seen the growth though. Like you know what I'm saying? Like with you, you feel me? You somebody you was coming from a real place. Like you know what I mean? And that was something that even if you didn't know, we looked at it like that. Like a lot of the homies looked at it like that though. Like you was dealing with game and doing shit with niggas. We like, damn, this nigga, he came home from prison and got straight to work. Like that was big for niggas to see that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, this nigga getting straight to it, man. Like everything I seen you say you did, you did. Nigga like, man, I'm gonna get me a low ride. Do like, boom, you get it. You know what I'm saying? So for a motherfucker to see that, it's like, yo, if this nigga can do that. You know what I'm saying? He from the same hood as us, man. He giving us the same game that he taking, man, let's, let me take it serious just as well. So, you know, like Art Squad and niggas from the from the Royces to the everybody, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, niggas right. was taking that shit hella serious. There's so much talent in that neighborhood that motherfucker just don't know, you right. know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers well, it, was working. It ain't, it ain't that we we didn't, we knew, we, we always knew yeah, we, we had knew, the talent. Yeah. We just never put our energy 100% in it. Yeah. Now that we now 100% that we doing in it, it you see oh, it's over. Yeah, it's we over now. The comedy it's shit. over now, it's, it's, it's over. Like, like it's we, we, we focused on it now. We know what we got to do. And shout out Young Shane, because shout Young Shane is the first person I ever yeah. seen write a rap. Man. That's who got, it was what, 1994. That's crazy. The first per we third, I think probably 93. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He write, I'm like, how the hell you wrote that? <laughs> So he the one who inspired me to rap. Yeah. He taught me how to rap. He showed Shame us how to yeah, rap. He one of the you know ghosts, man. So, shout out Young Shame. I, if I was doing a, a music right now, he'd be the first person. He'd be here in a minute. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? That's He's a the first fact. Person. So how the kids doing? Man? man, kids doing good, man. You know what I'm saying? They in school. School opened back up a little bit, so you know they get to go on like Wednesday and Fridays. Other days they zoom and getting on my nerves, but for the most part, you know what I'm saying? Them kids is good, man. You know what I mean? Like. It, it, that's what I do it for too. You know what I'm saying? At right. this age, like I'm 32 now, for me is to to get to the point to where I can leave a foundation and show them, like you know what I mean, like what it is, like growing them up. Like I, I enjoy seeing them playing basketball or even just 
playing their game and just the growth, like the smart stuff right. they say. Like, man, these kids is right. advanced. They more advanced than I was, you know what I'm saying? They showing me stuff. And my phone messed up the other day. My oldest son, Marcian, showed me how to unlock it and make it work right. again. I'm like, I ain't even know right. this. He's like, yeah, right. all you got to do is call Siri and say this. I'm like, man, these That's kids. Right. So that's how you open the phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know how you get it back yeah, going, yeah, all right? Yeah. You feel me? So, like, yeah, it's a blessing, man. You know what I mean? Like, you feel me insane? You know what I mean? Right. I know yours is good as well. I seen right. Lil Rick, you feel oh, me, yeah, doing the dance, did, tearing yeah, it up. You doing, feel me? On the real. Yeah, so, this is, this is a question I want to ask, man. When Geechee Gotti uh, prepares for a battle yes, rap, sir. right? What's the pro? How do you start these rap? Because I be hearing some of this stuff. Like, how yeah. the hell you come up? So, what is the process? Yeah. Who do you who do you looked up to? Who inspired mm-hmm. you to do battle rap? Okay. Who uh who uh got you on this path? Okay. But first off, what do you think of when you writing these bars? Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. I just try to go into like, like zero dark thirty, like, like kill mode. Like when I'm writing it, my 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 whole thought process is like. I gotta, I gotta smoke this person that I'm going against. But not only that, it's like I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it as far as the people that I know that's watching me. Like, man, I gotta make sure I put on because they hitting me. I got my partners that be tapping in. I be like, damn, this nigga watching this shit. I ain't even know he watching it. Like now, I really gotta go crazy because right. he don't want to hear no excuse. Like, damn, man, how you wasn't ready, man? What right. you doing? You know what I'm right. saying? So, man, as soon as I, I get the name on the paper, I really don't watch as much battle rap as people think. I hardly I try not to watch because I don't want to get nobody else style influence with mine. Right, right. I feel like I'm a, I'm a original. A lot of people probably don't follow my path now, so I try to just stick with that. Like I draw from experiences, you know what I'm saying? Like and bring that in, and infuse that with my punchlines, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people ha- have been through similar situations. It's like you said earlier when people said the comedy. I done been to so many events all over the world. I done traveled to every city, state you down there can name, and people done walked up to me. I'm talking about. Cause there's ghettos everywhere, street niggas everywhere. So I done had some of the most streetest dudes, streetest females walk up to me during and after and before battles. Like I only started watching this because of you. When you said right. this boy it gave me goosebumps. Right. I done shut people hand and they shaking cause they like, brother, like I felt that my brother doing this time and you said a bar about how your homie doing this time. I lost right. my homeboy and, and his mama paid the phone bill still so we right. can hear right. his voice. Like I've been through that. So my, my shit is to be like, man, let me just not, no studio. And that's really right. my shit. Like, let right. me go in here and give them the real. No studio. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm going to go in here and just get y'all the real, man. And the real motherfuckers going to take to it because even though it's a lot of fake and weird shit in the world, there's still so much real people out there that's, and when, when we looking for real people, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's so much weirdo shit out there that when you finally see something that's genuine, you gonna take to it, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. So that's my goal when I'm writing like, let me just make sure I'm gonna just keep it as authentic as possible, man. Like, I'm not gonna fabricate it. I'm not gonna compromise myself just to make appease the people, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna make sure I make, when I'm up there rapping, it's some shit that I'm gonna be proud of and the people that fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? Right, so who inspires you? Like, what battle rapper me? right now that, that inspires uh, you that you think is the top, the top? The top dude, like, if I take myself out of it, It'll be the guy that I'm finna face in the finals for the 100K will be my dog, Rum Nitty. You know what I'm saying? His work ethic, me seeing like him being one of the toughest punch, punchers in battle rap to be the most, one of the most creative dudes coming with these bars. Uh, also, uh, I battled him Arsenal. Like when I when I first started watching battle rap, he was one of the dudes I watched him like, this dude disrespectful. So that's where my disrespect comes right. from because I'm like, shit, right. I like it to see a motherfucker. Right. You just get to just talk crazy to a motherfucker, call him a right. bitch, you Mark, a bitch. Buster, yeah. you feel me? Yeah. Like, talk about him. Like, that was dope. So, like, Nitty, Arsenal, uh, Sue Surf, just like with the, the realism and dudes like that. I, I watched all them from the Reed Dollars to the Murder Mooks. I watched a, I watched a lot of these dudes and I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, and I won't say I emulated their style because I'm different, but I seen what they brung and I knew what I had to bring to be on that right. level. You know what I'm saying? Right. Most definitely. Okay, shout out, man, to all them uh, rappers that you yeah. name, man. And this, 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 this is right here for the homies in the neighborhood, man. Yeah. We gotta protect Geechee Gotti, man. Y'all see Geechee <laughs> Gotti in the neighborhood doing something he ain't got no business. If you a real homie, a put fact. him to the side. Like, That's look, bro, fact. it's time for you to go. That's a Get fact. up out of here. Y'all gotta protect That's him, man. Fact. So if you a real yeah, homie, and you got love fact. for him, man. Protect him. You, you see him doing nah, something wrong, put him by his nah, coat. That's, that's, that's real. Your, you said that's that. your job as a real homie. And if they yeah. ain't doing that, yeah. they ain't your homie. Nah, man. I was gonna say that's that's real that you say that, man. Cause nowadays when I do pop up, cause I don't, I, I be so gone, I don't even be able to be as as accessible as I used to be. You know, you seen nice when I'm slept in vacants, all type of weird shit, just being in the hood 24/7. Now that I done been on this path that I've been on, I, I'm less accessible. I don't be around as much, but I do know when I do pull up. Nine times out of ten, man, almost ten times out of ten, 
the homies that do be around me, like, man, Gotti, what you finna do? What you finna get into? Like, what you got, you know what I mean? Like, right. what you got going, man? You know what I mean? What you, you know what I mean? I know you ain't finna be right here too long, man. Like, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, yeah. they try to keep a nigga on that right path. They see a nigga got something going and they and they want to support that. So I gotta like tip my hat to them. Like, homies like yourself, it done plenty times when right. you like, Hey, you, where you at? You, hey, hey, what you doing, man? All right, nigga, all right, go home now. Nigga, you right. been you been out there for right. a minute. Right. It's cool, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we need that because we'll get blinded because that's what we so used to at times and we don't see what other people see in us. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, right. I'll just look at it like, man, I'm Baylor, man. I'm right here chilling. Well, right. I can't pull up, but you'll be looking at it like, nah, bro, you on, you doing this, doing right. this. You ain't supposed to be right like, here all like, day. Like, Baylor, you know we don't even know Baylor. Exactly, 100. Baylor is... Look, you think God took you all around these places? See, God took you to these that's states and these places and put you in this position so he can get you out of harm's way. I hear you that. You know what I'm saying? That's why you stay constantly yeah, busy because God's doing his job. Man, you know what I'm man, saying? I so, believe that wholeheartedly, man. For it, real, for yeah, real. Yeah, it's, it's the truth, oh, man. So do. we got Geechee Gotti up in here, man. Uh, what's next for Geechee Gotti, man? Man, uh, man, I ain't gonna lie, man. Uh, more battles, more skits, more podcasting. You know what I'm saying? More clothing. I got www.officialgeechigotti.com. Official Get the clothing right now. We got plenty of hoodies on there. Uh, for the summer, we changing the whole website so people order up because we going to have uh, the crop tops for the ladies, the, you know, the joggers, you know, the shorts and all that, man. We trying to revamp it. So we, I'm trying to take that there to that level. Uh, other business ventures, you know what I'm saying, that I want to get into, man. Uh, I got, you know, uh, I, I told these people that uh, every fucking wing, so you know, every fucking bar EFB, you know, I'm finna dabble into the cooking a little bit. I ain't started right, it yet, right, but it's finna, right. you know, once right. I, you know, I get there, that's my next venture, man. I'm trying to get some food going, going, everything, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do a little bit of everything, you know right. what I'm saying? So, I'm like, like, sky's the limit with what's next, man. Like, right now, my my uh, focus is on the next battle, which is uh, June 12th, uh, Nome 11, you know what I'm saying? Night of main events, URL, you know what I'm saying, for the 100K. Like I say, also the Illumigati album, I'm focused on that. But yeah, man, like, I'm just thinking of just more ways to revitalize the brand and just help the brand grow, man. Right. right. Speaking of the brand, I got my No Studio. Yes, sir. On. He gave this to me personally. This was, he actually put the print on here himself because he knew I was coming today. So when he, when they get, you know, further down the line, this one is going for a million dollars. Come on, that is. This come one is on. Going to the frame. Come I'm on. This one for a million. Come on, man. Come uh, on, because we ain't going to so. make no more of them. Y'all got to, right. you feel me? Got to right. get this, it now. This, this is for the million, man. So, you know, mom seeing you, you know, yeah. doing the street life and all that. I know she's proud of you right proud now. Proud of me, man. Proud of me, man. Like, my, my whole family, man. Salute my mom because my mom's been there for me through so much. Like, when I done been to jail and I needed to get bailed out, like, I had to call moms. Like, I ain't had no homie that give me no thousands to get me right. up out that joint. You right. dig what I'm saying? Like, when I'm going through shit uh, as far as, like, just needing somewhere to stay when I ain't got no money to get my own spot. Mom's open that door. I'm still in mom's crib at them times and doing that. So, like, I want to give, like, nothing but respect to my mama. Like, cause she was there from day one. And to see where I'm at now, I know she proud right. that I'm able to make something better than what I probably, where she probably thought I was headed. You know what I'm saying? Because right. you they baby, no matter what, they going to, you know what I mean, have your right. back. But right. they, they know and they like, man, God damn, you, right. you bumping right. your head. Right. Nigga, what's going on? You feel me? Right. My grandma, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? Like, my aunties, my uncles, they all be there. Man, I just lost my grandfather this past week you know what i'm saying rest in peace yeah, to him awesome. you know what i'm saying yeah thank you appreciate it you know what i'm saying uh you know thank you but like i say man like that just let me know at that time just by going to that funeral like if, if, if it wasn't prevalent then it was prevalent now like family is everything you know what i'm saying like you don't get these people forever you know what i'm saying right. you know what i mean you only live once so i encourage everybody that, that watch this you know what i'm saying like spend time with family man you still got your grandma grandpa man go over there and check on them you know what i'm saying go over there and deal with them you know what i'm saying your mom your dad still around go holler at them your sister your brother make amends with them if y'all beefing you know what right. i'm saying because you be hurt when they gone like i went to his funeral i ain't gonna lie i cried i didn't even think i cried because i done been to so many funerals mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying but that's a different pain that's my g pops been there i'm a baby that held me you know what i'm saying so like that made me see that like you know what like damn you gotta like really like spend time with your peoples man because we ain't got them forever so yeah yeah, they well, proud of me, man. Well, I'm proud of you too, man. I remember a couple of years ago. Yes, sir. All the little young females in the neighborhood, <laughs> their hair was on point. Yeah, facts, facts. They was fly. They had it, yeah. Right. Come on. But since you didn't went up like 10 levels, yeah. we don't got the We don't got the, the bundles Gotti no bundles, more. Man. Yeah, hey. What, what, yeah. What's up with the Gotti bundles, I'm gonna bring I'm going to bring it back, man. Shout out my fiance. That was what she was doing. She had her own business beforehand, man, you know what I'm saying, doing the hair thing. She's telling me about it, like, yo, 
girls be doing this, doing this. So I'm like, man, let me go put some money in and give me some. I'm mm. on some Jody off baby boy right, out right. the trunk with it, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I ain't going to lie. I did make a, a, a good living off of it, too, though. And like such, I'm talking about I learned so much about it to the point, man, I could be like, I could tell you if it was good hair by touching it right. in my damn self. Right. Like, yeah, this right. that 30-inch <laughs> Brazilian wavy right here, baby girl. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to find this anywhere. So, right. you know, definitely, man, I think that was dope. That's something I'm going to get back into. Well, because, you got to get back into Yeah, that's something I'm going to get back into. The they need it. They need to get right. I got to get them back right. Ain't been with no yeah, come on. Daddy, daddy. Yeah, I had them right, too. Yeah. Come on, good prices pulling up, man. I just sold it to everybody from L.A., Watts, Compton, Inglewood, man. I had it lit. So, yeah, I'm going I'm to get it back, man. I'm going to bring them Gotti bundles back for the people, man. I got you, right? We, <laughs> we got to get them back because I'm tired of seeing them on Instagram. <laughs> I'm like, God, since the homie to stop selling this. Selling, yeah, now they out here. Yeah, man, yeah. they going natural. and they looking right. Come on, get it together, man. I so, got so, you. So tell me about Compton Biggie, man. How did yeah. you even come... What, how did you link up with him to do that skit with Darius? Man, sal salute to him, man. You know what I'm saying? That's family, man. He out the neighborhood as well, as you know. You know what I mean? But, like, his family, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Been knowing him since he was a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and I knew he wanted to aspire to do that, man. He told me himself, like, man, I'm trying to get into this comedy lane. You know what I'm saying? So when he used to do the skits on Instagram, eating a biscuit and laughing with it or <laughs> eating a donut and playing with it, I'm like, I'm seeing it. I'm laughing at the crib. Like, yo, this, this is some funny-ass shit. Like, so I'm... Anyway, I can extend the olive branch to help you right. get more to it so where you can see that it's something from that. Like, and shout out Darius, he pulled up yesterday and Biggie so happened to be with me because he, you know, he, he traveled with me and go places with me as far as with this battle rap. I try to keep him out right. the hood and do stuff. So I'm like, man, pull up, man. Let's get that skit in. And they exchange numbers and you know, keep it going. And, and y'all following me, man, on Instagram, man, because he, he doing his thing with the comedy. He going to get more into it. Like, like I understand you do skits with him. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Y'all getting it going. So yeah, I just want to be just a homie, like you say, that y'all was to me to like try to show something positive. If like you can do this right. instead of me taking you on this, I can take you to do this. Right. You know what yeah, I'm that's, saying? That's so our definitely. job. Yeah. Our job is to inspire and motivate. You know, yeah. if we can help the the next homie, you know, do better with himself, that's our job. Most because definitely. I'm gonna tell you like this: the highest reward from game banging yeah. is the graveyard. That's a fact. The second reward is the penitentiary. Mm -hmm. And I didn't been in there with a whole lot of guys who you thought was the toughest and bad. I didn't see these dudes cry. Yeah. They didn't pull me to the side because I was a real young dude. And they like, man, I, I you know, I give up everything to get up out of here. Yeah, yeah. I didn't heard people say, I give a million dollars up to get out of prison, but you would take a couple thousand dollar chances to come to up in here. here you know what I'm saying? So we could help any young homie in the neighborhood. Man, look at us, man. We Most want definitely. something positive. I, ain't ha I don't hang out in the neighborhood yeah. for a reason. It ain't that I'm, I forget where I come from Never and not. I don't love my homies. I'm just on a different path. Most definitely. You know what I'm, saying? I'm Most trying definitely. to say lies, not end them. Yeah, you know Most saying? definitely, man. And anybody, you know what I'm saying, going to respect that, man, because they know it's coming from a, a genuine person. You know what I mean? Earned that right to step away. But not only that, just visually growing up, and maturing like that, anybody that go against maturity is just having matured themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause you really like you say, if your real homeboy or your home girl got love you, your family gonna want to see you do something righteous, no matter what it is. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. Like I'm definitely, man. I'm rocking with the Positive Vibe Podcast. I'm tuning in. I done seen the Pop Rock episodes, the grimaces. Right, I'm tuned right, in. You feel right. me? Well, the I best is yet to come, man. We got to get you, Gotti, on here. So what can they find Geechee Gotti at yeah. on all your platforms? Yeah, man, if you on Twitter, man, it's at Geechee Gotti, Instagram, Geechee underscore Gotti, uh, YouTube, www. No, I'm sorry about that. That's the that's the website on YouTube. It's just official Geechee Gotti. Tune into official Geechee Gotti on YouTube. That way you can keep up with all the podcasts and the music videos. All my content drops on there. Uh, like I say, uh, www.officialgeecheegotti.com for all the merch. Just everything Geechee Gotti, man. Type it in, man. All type of stuff going to pop up, man. You know what I mean? So I appreciate all support from, from a dollar to a million dollar support. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it all, man. For real, for real. All right. This is what I ask all my guests. Yes, man. Give me five positive things. I don't care if okay. it was last week okay. or, five, or or within that five that you're going to do in okay. the future. All right, man. So five positive things, man. I'm uh, making myself, my business to... To, to work out more, you know what I'm saying? To try to like, like, cause health is wealth. I want to positively work on my health and just, I'm, I'm still young to that point to where I need to make sure I'm, I'm getting right. You know what I'm saying? I see you with that. Right. That's something I want to do, man. You know what I mean? Uh, make sure I keep these kids, my kids, man, in school, focused on their schoolwork, man. Making sure that they know that put them games down, put that roadblocks down for a minute, man. Make sure you get that work done. You know what I'm saying? Right. Be, a, be a better man in my household to, to my fiance. You know what I'm saying? That's positive. Uh, be a better 
child to my mother and grandchild to my grandmother and then while I still got them here on this earth, you know what I mean? Right, right. And you know, also, man, I'ma just continue to just put out positivity. So any young person that's watching this, man, if you doing something, you know what I mean, follow your dream, man. It ain't everybody dream. Whatever your dream is, you know what I'm saying? Follow that, you know what I'm saying? Go for that, man. Don't, don't, don't let nobody deter you from what you think it is, man, because God made us all individuals. So whatever you see yourself doing, I'm guarantee you, if you pray on it, if you, if you, if you think you can do it, you can do it, man. Prayer is real, it works. I done literally prayed for stuff and it happened. So I know it's real, you know what I'm saying? So I want to put that out there, man. Positive to just continue to pray, stay focused. All the youngsters out there that's watching this, man. Anybody, you don't got to be a youngster, man. Anybody that's watching this, you know what I mean? Like, right. stay prayed up out here for real, for real. All right, well, shout out to Geechee Gotti, man. Y'all can follow me on Instagram at Compton Rick Rock. That's C O M P T O N, period. R O I C C, period. R O O C. Also, the same thing as the TikTok is Compton Rick Rock. Follow me on, on YouTube at Ricky Make Them Laugh. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification button. And we can't forget my people at Beachbound, man. Good looking out for the, uh, for the merch. Well, I ain't got the Beachbound hat on right now, but I do got it. Y'all follow uh, Beachbound. On Instagram. Yeah, salute, salute, salute. We out of here. Positive vibes. My nigga.